Power 1051 is the Breakfast Club. Good morning. We got a special guest in the building. And he's got his head laid. <laughs> Trinidad James. Trinidad what the hell was James. that? You got some LeBron James um, <laughs> What did you do? <laughs> you did the LeBron James this morning. What was that? I'm working on my David Blaine, man. Just working on my David <laughs> I like that. So he's introduced his name, Trinidad James. Yes. He blew the powder like LeBron. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So we had a debate before you walked in if your hair is permed or if you just... No, straight. me and Charlamagne didn't have a debate. You and the... Uh, no, not... Actually, Charlamagne and, and, and Vanessa. Vanessa. I ain't had no debate. I'm just like, okay, he got some money now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, it just um, just was getting my hair cleaned or whatever, and um, just felt good about it. You know, you know, I'm one of those type of people. Who I just do me all the time. So yeah, yeah. you know, I just did, felt great. Mm-hmm. You had the afro since day one, though, since we seen you. Yeah, man. You know, I started with that, and I guess I'm here. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? It looks like but, mine, kind of now. <laughs> started with the afro, now I'm here. This is actually straighter than yours. He, yeah, he has good hair. I try to do mine myself. That's actually cooler for the summertime, though, because that afro seemed like it could be hot. Man, huh. make your head heavy. <laughs> the last time he was here, he wasn't at Def Jam yet, was he? He didn't do the he deal. He hadn't like, been signed to Def Jam. Nah, man, I was just, um, you know, grinding like I still am, so man. So what made you do the Def Jam deal? Why Def Jam? Nah, I mean, it was just um, the, a smart move as far as, like, you know, when you sign, it's basically you figuring out what's the best place for you to do your music the way you want to do it and put it out, get mm-hmm. it put out to the most people. I just felt like Def Jam was the right place. After, you know, we sat down with everybody. You know, I've seen everybody and their mama, basically. So did you, re- did you really get $2 million? Oh, man, come on, man. You know, I don't talk about no money on the interview, boy. <laughs> <laughs> For what? So you Def know Jam- where we from? I can't talk about no money on the Absolutely. interview. Absolutely. So Def Jam picked up your mixtape and put that out as, as an album. That, that's, that's what they do. Um, basically, yeah, we um, revamped it a little bit. and um, That's genius. Mixtape, get, you know, a million for, uh, well, allegedly, whatever you got for it, and then, you know, a couple songs and then right back at it. Hey, just keep moving. I mean, why? You know, at the end of the day, you got to think about it. In order to even do that, you got to have something worth doing it with, Mm -hmm. you know? So, I mean, that was the best part about it for me, Mm -hmm. to know where I made that at and where I started from with it and to have a good, um, basically, a good way to start off. Aren't you mad Joey he just left? He signed you and then it's up to me. Man, the industry, what I'm starting to realize is, man, it's like the NBA. You'd be playing for any team on any given Monday out here, boy. Would you have, if you knew Joey he was leaving, would you have still signed with him? Man, um, it ain't no telling, man. It ain't no telling. It's hard to really say. I would have a really good individual, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know him like where, you know, he making intricate moves in my life yeah. based off of his own life. Yeah, you know, do what you want, partner. Did it slow up your, your, your project, though? Um, nah, not for me because, you know, I just be working on my own stuff. I don't really be working with too many other people. I just do me, you know. So mm-hmm. at the end of the day, I was just like, I didn't even really know until I came out of where I'd be at to um, see what's going on in the world. And I was like, oh, man, he don't even work with us no more. Okay. Well, <laughs> all, right. all right, keep it moving. Okay. So you did the Females Welcome video in Trinidad. Actually, you went out there to do it. Yes, I did. It was a wonderful time. Did you, were the girls there, did you bring them there or did you cast women that were in Trinidad? Um, those are actually um, Trinidadians. The girl, the main girl who's dancing with me, she was like um, Miss Universe, oh, actually. Wow. So you didn't have your actual side chick in the video? Nah, man, nah, nah. You know, I, um, I didn't want to pay for her to get on that flight. <laughs> 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 now, is that song based off a true story? Did your um, side chick really become your main chick? Yeah, did I mean, but it's always like, like that. I mean, I feel like if you, if you a single man, you definitely always like that or whatever. And then if you, I feel like seven out of ten dudes that's in a relationship is like that. I, but I'm just real about it, man. I don't because if a girl gonna be with you, she gonna be with you. It don't matter what you do. You know what I'm saying? I know dudes who cheat religiously and where that girl going? Nowhere. Right here. Well, that's, that's, Why'd you, you raise your hand, Charlamagne? Are you saying that's you? That's gospel. I love to hear that type of person. Like you know Hallelujah. Side, no side chicks dish. move up to main chick status a lot because guys use their side chicks. They don't ever get mad about anything. They play their position. When things are going wrong at home, you go to your side chick. Everything's nice and comfortable. But then your main chick gets sick of you, and then the side chick moves up in the ranks. Now, you can't never promote the side chick. Keep the side chick exactly where uh, she is. Yeah, it's, it's one they of the type of things where it's like side chicks are side chicks in a lot of different ways and you never know it's because they do a lot of things that the main chicks don't Mm -hmm. that's why they end up staying around and you know your main chick when you get tired of each other y'all do stupid things part separate ways that side chick she always there but it's got different kind of side chick it's like Jocelyn and Stevie J she was a side chick she did that she did get promoted you should have had them to in the video (laughs) (laughs) that's who you you should have that's the perfect example she's not going nowhere (laughs) hold up you got a manicure too you don't cut your nails 
Nah, man. No, bro, I'm playing the guitar, man. Playing the guitar, so man. So you had to cut your nails for the... Man, it's hard to have long nails and trying to play Man, you don't cut bro. your nails. You got a perm. You changing, he, man. He changing Next thing noise. you know, you're going to have a... You get your teeth fixed. You better oh, stop. No, you come no. on now. You got to keep it keep it real now. <laughs> hey, man. I promise you, man. I'm real every day, man. You already know how it is. <laughs> Living life, man. Trade that. You can tell he getting money. That's <laughs> right. Yeah, so he you asked him, when he came in before, he was like, I ain't changing nothing. He looking nah, different now. He just looked different. Absolutely. Now. I don't even think he looked in the eye. He's been looking at the mic the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Sunglasses on. He didn't change on us. <laughs> oh, you also man. made it to the Double XL freshman list. Oh man, that was a blessing. What was that in, what was that call like for you? How did you find out? How did they ask you? Um, man, one of the times when I was in New York, if I'm not mistaken, um, we happened to go by there and um it was pretty much in the talks, and I just have put it in a positive light, and then it really happened mm -hmm. when they gave me a call for the photo shoot. Nice. Now, is it pressure? Because, you know, All Gold Everything was a big, big record. Females Welcome is cool, but it's not seeming like it's going to be as big as All Gold Everything. Is people already saying, oh, he's about to be out of here? I mean, people were saying that, I think, like, last said year. It. I haven't said that yet. Oh, yet. Not yet. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Still it's, waiting. Uh, hey, well, it's one of those type of things where, bro, all I could do is do me. You know what I'm saying? Because I might come out with something that's a hit to you, and nobody else don't like it. Well, you know what I'm saying? What how that gonna go? Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, at the end of the day, you didn't know me in the beginning, and you end up rocking with me. You know what I'm saying? So all I could do is be the same person, put out music in other different ways, see how it goes, boss. So you if it never gets any bigger than this, are you cool with that? I mean, that's God's way. Yeah, true indeed. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like what well, I say. Like, oh, I'm good right here. I went out to go further in life doing music, you know what I'm saying? But it ain't going to be the end of the road. I'm going to find a, another hustle. You've always known to do, what to do with your money. You know, you had the, the clothing store and ATL and it's stuff It's all like good, that. you know. I'm going to get money regardless. But at the end of the day, I mean, I enjoy doing music, you know what I'm saying? And it's wonderful to get... I mean, I did, just finished a tour on the East Coast and the West Coast or whatever. I mean, psh, man, we got love, you know what I'm saying? It didn't have to be 2,000 people, you know what I'm saying? But it was good numbers of people... And man, we had a good time. People was enjoying themselves, you know. That's I mean, good. that's the best thing. So about I mean, it. I'm just in the beginning of my career doing my thing, man. Not many artists right out the gate when they really, really came out. Not when all these is hot and stuff now, you know. what I'm saying, I'm talking about when they really, really came out to just hit like boom. Right. So I mean, it's a little different road, you know. what I'm saying, I'm different. My career is different. Who knows? The outcome might be wonderful. The outcome might not be what you want it to be, but it might be what it's meant to be. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's it's all good, man. Now, you did the remix, but you didn't rap on it. You just decided, look, I'm saying I don't need to rap on this For remix. For what, man? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, the original is like, mm -hmm. you know, it's like it's a, it did what it did. It did what it's supposed to do mm -hmm. or whatever. The remix was just basically start the year off right and doing something again for my city because I love Atlanta. That's all. Now, how is your relationship with all the other Atlanta artists? I mean, for the most part, the ones that I know, it's all love. Walker's man. from your hood? You walking from the same hood? Walk, I mean, he's from the South Side also, mm -hmm. or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Cool individual, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Everybody respect Gucci, you know what I'm saying? Man, that's, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Everybody, Jesus, T.I., Future, Rich Homie Kwan. Okay. I will say this, it didn't seem like you oversaturated yourself doing features, because after you put out All Gold Everything, everybody was trying to get a Trinidad James feature, and you weren't like doing, jumping on everything. Did you just recently do a video with, with Lil Wayne? No, nah, I didn't. Here? I've never even met Lil Wayne in my whole life. Damn, okay. for real? Yeah. Okay. I thought just moving around, you might have bumped into him or something. Never. Never. You know what I'm saying? But nah, I'm not in the video. Really. Okay, but with Jeezy. You worked with Jeezy? Yeah, on the All Go Everything remix. remix. Right. Yeah. He did something with Wale. But nothing for his album? No. Okay. All right, I'm just checking because I always see pictures of you in the studio with somebody and I'm like, all right, is he doing this with them? What makes you decide... Um, whose features you want to get on? Because I know a lot of people have been trying to, oh, I want to get Trinidad James, I want to get him. What makes you decide, okay, I'll work with this person? Um, it just got to make sense for something that I want to talk about. I got to like the song. Like, I could like the song for you, but not to hear me on it. You know what I'm saying? I just like to do remixes that I could hear myself on mm -hmm. or whatever, you know, and just um, some of them, I mean, in reality, some of them is like, man, 8-Ball had asked me to do a feature or whatever. And, I mean, I feel like they're legends to me, and I just feel honored. Mm -hmm. It's just a lot of different things play into it. You, know, you pay me enough money, I'll do that. Do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just right. different things that play into it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's whatever. The work remix, that song hard. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. right. Do people yeah. walk up to you all day and be like, Papa Molly, I'm sweating. Do they just yell that at you? Um, Yeah. <laughs> and do you say woo every time? Nah, man. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I said woo in... A long time, actually. Because yeah. it's like, 
Come on, man. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. What did you think about the whole Rick Ross uh, situation with him saying, in the, the, you, you don't even know a remix, put a Molly in a champagne, she ain't even know it, and then Reebok's dropping him. Would you, would you ever change up a lyric or apologize for a lyric to keep an endorsement deal? I mean, honestly, bro, when you do a song, and every artist knows this. If, if I know this, then I know every other artist knows this. And when you do a song, you listen to it, you listen to it. It's usually at least at least one more person in the room with you when you're recording it. So that's that cosign person or whatever. You put it out, it is what it is. You say, well, you're a grown man. Ross, he a grown man. He can do whatever he want or whatever. You know what I'm saying? When you do things... It's on you, bro. What can I? I ain't nothing I can really say about that. Have you? I've never seen a chick pass out off of Molly. I see chicks get hyper off Molly's. Hey, I mean, I feel that. I think I knew what he mean by it, but it's not my ground <laughs> to elaborate on that. Back up away from this situation, Trinidad. Back away from the situation. I think I know what he meant by it. I mean, I've done it once or twice. Yeah. But I, <laughs> yeah, I no, but when we had Nori up here, he was saying he sees it happen all the time in class. I ain't never seen no chick pass out on the model. So we got to get an official <laughs> Def Jam debut? Man, I, I don't know yet, man. If I knew, I'd tell you, man. You know what I'm saying? I feel like. I could tell you that. You kind of, you kind of in limbo over there now, because huh? because you know Joey left, so you kind of in limbo. Because I know he's the guy that signed you, so like nobody knows what to do with Trinidad right now. That's where it's at. I mean, it's one of those type of things, man, where everything's so new, you really don't, you don't know what Trinidad. You don't even know Trinidad. Yeah, so they probably you know tell you, you just keep working, keep putting out records, Trinidad. That's just like, hey, keep shooting. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, keep shooting. That's the BS. That's when the label don't know what to do with you. So they like, yeah, just keep keep putting out records. So when f- something finally gets hot, then they, oh, yep, yep, let's go. Time to go now. <laughs> we nah, need an album. It's one of those type of things, man, where, like, I like to work on projects. I ain't one of those type of people. That's why you ain't really been seen. I ain't dropped no music. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I like to work on projects. And I'm just, I'm still working on my formulas. You know what I'm saying? As far as I want to put it out, everybody got their certain sounds or whatever. And I'm just working on doing, just being a better artist. You know what I'm saying? I know you're not getting beats off SoundCloud no more. Not, you got you got your nails cut and your perm. I know yeah, you. Man, you, you never getting know real what beats you can find on there though. But you, you never got know a lot of you got a lot of dope stuff on there. You never know what you can find on there. You bro. ain't searching SoundCloud no more. It works. He might not be, but Why he got not? somebody searching SoundCloud. Hey man, you never know. I mean, people send you cool beats too. You just never know. I mean, it's, you gotta think about everybody that's famous now. They had to start off being Joe Schmo, right? To yeah. a certain extent, you know what I'm saying? Like sending their beats out. Hey, check this. Check this. And some people just move there faster than others. So if I find another Joe Schmo, the dude that all go everything, I mean, come you on. You should have signed him. Man, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Who knows? But what's a fashion no-no? We're talking to Trinidad Jane. What's one thing in fashion you won't do? Recently, we, leather had, to sweatpants. Do, we had to do an event, <laughs> and Charlemagne wore white leather sweatpants. Leather sweatpants is popping. Hey, man, I don't know, man. Leather sweatpants is popping. I'm sorry. If, yeah. if, I mean, if you got a problem with that, I mean, that's just on you. Nah, it didn't um, look too right. Looks like Envy's out the loop. Oh, I man, had I'm white leather it. sweatpants and I Will got a black again? pair. You said I'll never wear leather sweatpants again? No, that's because I'm just not cool enough to wear leather oh, okay. sweatpants. Like, no, I, also like, he said he was sweating. His balls were stuck to his legs. was too sweaty for me. I, you know, I like to drink and smoke, and I can't do all that in no leather pants. <laughs> I got to be comfortable. I wasn't comfortable. Okay. That's all. Man, to each his own. I'm not against that. Okay. I ain't going to lie to you, boss. All right. All right. Well, Trinidad James, ladies and gentlemen, we don't know when we get this album. You'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> you'll get it. You think it'll be on Def Jam? Man, it don't matter what it's on. You'll get it. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm working on it. So, I mean, that's, I mean, don't sound like you and Def Jam relationship too good right now. Nah, uh, man. I mean, it's good. It's just, you know, I'm one of the type of people where it's like, I ain't like best friends with everybody, so I can't talk to you about them like we best friends. I'm going to talk to you about them like the people I work with. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? And they're good people. They work hard. I work hard. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know. You're talking about your friend's parents. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, just met them. And I'm sure with any artist, you got your own team that does everything for you, and people operate like you don't have a label, because that's really what you have to do nowadays. And then when you get it where you need to get it to, that's when they take over. Mm-hmm. Is there anybody in the industry that you talk to that, that gives you advice, that tells you what right, or you just do it all dolo? I um, mean, I do a lot dolo, a, do- a lot, lot dolo, but I mean, I have conversations with certain artists, you know, so I'm just in general about, like, just life. Mm-hmm. I'd love to go to jail with Trinidad James. You can tell he ain't gonna tell the police nothing. He gonna nothing. <laughs> he said, I'd love to go to jail with Trinidad James. <laughs> I'll commit a crime yeah, with you That was anyway. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Breakfast Club. It's Power 105.1 Trinidad James. <laughs>